Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new Fly Racing Formula S helmet. Now, this is coming in around the $800 price point, which is a $100 increase over the standard Fly Racing Formula helmet. Now, if you want all the details on this helmet, you can watch our breakdown for this helmet, which is the formula. The main change that we're gonna see here is going to be the S, and that is going to add in the Quinn Impact Detection System. We're gonna get into that in just a minute, but for those of you that haven't watched our video on the Fly Racing Formula helmet, let's give just a quick brief rundown because this is a off-road riding helmet that has really revolutionized protection and safety in the world of off-road riding. You're getting a 12K carbon fiber shell, three different shell sizes available. Size range for the shell sizes is extra small to small, medium to large, and extra large to 2XL. You have DOT and ECE 2206 on the new Formula S. That is an update, the, uh, the formula is getting that update as well. But depending on when you're watching this video, the new Formula S is ECE 2206. 13 intake vents, seven exhaust vents. The weight hasn't changed. Two pounds, 15 ounces in a medium when we threw this on the scale. Intermediate oval fit, that means it's a little bit longer front to back, a little narrower down the side of the head. This is gonna be a helmet that is comfortable for the majority of the American market. And the inside has Rion technology, uh, which is a rotation or anti-rotational protection system, which is imperative in what we're seeing in the new world of dirt bike protection, especially in low speed impacts where you know your head might hit a rock and kind of twist. The anti-rotational protection helps to reduce brain shear and potential injuries associated with that. So that is the too long didn't read of why you are considering a fly racing formula helmet. Now, the reason you're considering the S version is if you are riding in places alone, if you are out ripping a trail through the woods by yourself and something were to happen, what this does is it has a little sensor in the back which activates as you put the helmet on. And if I pull this little rubber tab out, you can see there's a micro USB charging port in there and a little sensor that starts to blink as soon as you pick the helmet up, you need to make sure it's charged. But this is very advanced technology. When we're talking to the reps at Fly, they went with a little computer system in the back of this that's far more advanced than what they need right now because they wanna to continue to iterate on this. The way this stands right now, we're gonna walk through exactly what you get from a detection technology standpoint. First and foremost, it pairs with your cell phone. So in order for any of this to work, you do have to have data on your cell phone and you have to have reception. This is not going to take the place for you crazy adventurers out there using some kind of a Garmin tracking device or a spot tracking device with extraction insurance and, and all of that. This is much more about your riding in a local riding area, you're going out by yourself, you do have cell phone reception, um, and what this will do is for the basic package, there is a free tier associated with this. There's an app that you put on your phone, the phone pairs with the helmet, and for the free tiered system, if you are in a crash, it will send a message to your emergency contact that you program in the app. You do have to have the app running. Now again, like I said, this could all change based on when you're watching this video. If you're watching this video a year from now or two years from now, Fly is making constant iterations with this as they partner with Quinn. Um, so make sure you're checking out all the pertinent details on the product page. Uh, you can always find that by just clicking the little info button in your desktop or mobile device. But as it stands right now, you have your phone running, you have the app open, you are paired to the helmet and you crash. This will then, uh, you'll have like a little window of time where you can cancel the call if you end up crashing and it turns out you're okay. But if not, if you don't do anything to cancel the call, it'll send a call out to your emergency contact information. There is an SOS beacon on this so they can see where you're at and then they can come and help you or they can send the appropriate uh, help to come and get you. With the basic package on this, there is going to be uh, ride tracking, there's gonna be uh, crash reporting, but it's not gonna be nearly as sophisticated as what you get if you jump up to the Apex version. The Apex version costs a little under $10 a month, let's just call it right around $10 a month. That, in addition to sending out a message to your emergency contact, will notify local EMS. You can store all of your medical history, 
into the app, and then it'll send all of that over the EMS. So if you're allergic to bees, like I am, it'll let the EMS come in to get you that if you've managed to crash in a beehive, they should jam an EpiPen into your thigh and make you feel better. Um, I'm, just, I'm just spitballing here. The important thing is, is that they will have that information ready so when they come to get you, they'll already have your medical history listed out and they will know where to find you because the SOS beacon is active. Um, the other piece on this is that you're gonna get, you're gonna get up into lap times, you're gonna be able to get uh, detailed crash history, it's gonna track a lot more. It's just a much more sophisticated system if you bump up into the paid version. But what I like about this is that even if you're not going paid, you can still get that emergency contact information sent out if you do crash. Um, I think for a lot of the places that I ride, I was actually having this conversation uh, with uh, Mr. McHugh, our product tester and expert earlier. You know, when we were out at Get On Adventure Fest, 80% of the areas that we were riding in, we had cell phone reception. Now, do you wanna take the risk of in that, you know, 20% area, uh, your cell phone doesn't work and that's where you manage to crash? That's still where it doesn't replace the, the Garmin's and the spot trackers out there. But for those of you out there that know the areas that you ride in, you know that maybe you're going out for solo rides and you do have cell phone reception in the entire area that you ride, that's where this is going to be an excellent option. You're getting an amazing helmet, uh, a helmet that continually impresses us, you know, when we're looking at all the dirt options out there, but now with this Quinn Impact Detection System. So it's really great to see this innovating. Like I said, it's about $100 premium over the regular fly one and that's still including the basic version free and then if you want to jump up to that tiered apex version that's where you're getting into that like ten dollar a month charge but really cool to see a company like this innovating um, and bring this technology into a, a helmet where you don't have to have some extra system on your on your person and it doesn't increase the weight so really a shout out to fly for being innovative with what they're doing in the world of safety now if you are still unsure as to what this helmet can do for you, you want more of the details on this, make sure you click that little info button on your desktop or mobile device. It'll take you over to the product page. You can read all the information on this. You can also read other rider reviews from folks that are already putting the Fly Racing Formula helmet through its paces. And if you're not sure as to which off-road riding helmet is right for you in your style of off-road riding, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the different options available. I wanna thank you for joining us today for this look at the Fly Racing Formula S helmet. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.